Welcome, Minecrafters. This is Nonsenity, bringing you the third part in my Red Power Automation series, The Ever Full Pouch. I'm not going to blow anything up this time, because what I'm going to show you is something I've never seen before anywhere else. But first, let me show you what the res end result is. Let's say you're out and about in your multiplayer world, and you need to build something quickly, and you didn't happen to bring the materials you need with you. Well, as you can see from my inventory, I've only got some ender pouches with me, and my handy-dandy diamond drill, but let's look inside one of them. Aha! All the materials that I need. A stack of each, but uh, let's get some wood and some, some, let's say a little bit extra stone there. But what if I need more stacks? It refills. As you can see, the, the wood has come back, and in a moment the uh, smooth stone will be coming back. There it is, filling right back up. I can just keep taking from it, and it'll keep filling up. Just keep, you know, shift click, keep pulling more out. I need a couple stacks. And then it'll fill up, and it's all done. This, All these materials are in here, and I can keep pulling out as much as I've got stored back in my uh, storage facility. And when you're done, if you remember from my sorting facility, you can use the orange, orange, orange in this case pouch to dump it back in to the sorting system. So the, any of the remainder goes back. So at any time you can pull out, you know, I need to make some, uh, don't need, only need to take half of that, and some uh, wool, and I'll make some red jacketed uh, cable, and then the excess I put back into my sorting pouch, and off it goes. And my inventory is once again pristine. And yet I've got stuff as I need it wherever I am. Now, Anybody who's watched the uh, factory, or anybody who hasn't watched the factory and sorting and storage system videos, the previous two in this series, I suggest you watch them because I will be glossing over some of the details I cover there. But uh, what I'm going to show you today is this over here. You may have seen it in the background of the other videos. And this is the Everpool full pouch system. Now, the Everfull pouches are part of the ender storage mod which gives you the ender chest and the ender pouches and the way they work as I've covered in the other videos is you can make a uh, chest and you color the top with dyes and then it has an in, in a, like an inventory that is specific to those colors change the color open it up and it'll be empty or it'll be whatever's in the new color pattern you can even destroy it and what it had in it is not does not spill out it stays in there it's like in an ether place. The end is what the uh, story goes. It's off in the end somewhere. And what's in there stays in there. Now this is the red, white, and blue pouch which I've got in my hand. The same as this ender chest. And you see that has the same. This is my tool pouch. Just uh, I can pull out the wrench when I need it. And when I'm done I can put it back. And this will work anywhere in the world. This does not have to be chunk loaded. And that's the basic way to use a uh, ender chest and ender pouch to uh, have your stuff on the go. But this won't refill. But this one over here will. As you can see underneath there is an ender chest with red, red, red as its color pattern. And as you can see, it's the same as in my red, red, red ender pouch. In fact, when I open the chest, it opens the pouch. See the icon changes. And vice versa, when I open the pouch, it opens the chest. They're the same contents. And over here is another orange, 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 same as the input chest for my uh, sorting facility. And it too, I have, I have something in there. Let's, see, let's take some uh, green wool, toss the green wool in there, and it gets sorted off. I think it was already there. It goes. It's already in the sorting system. Heading down to uh, its chest, which I think is the brown? No. Red. Yes. There it is. Ready to be pulled out as needed. Now, I recommend watching the factory video first, if you haven't already, because it's going to be using some of the same uh, machinery that uh, was used in the factory. You can see under there I've got a yellow, 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 and here I've got a green, green, green. And I'm going to set up one of the, uh, all, all three of these are the same. You can see that it's got three rows that are the same attaching to it, one vertical and one on each side. 
This uh, lets you have a uh, pattern that can be stacked horizontally, repeat it as often as you like. And I'm going to set up this green, green, green one, which is currently empty, with a new set. And uh, so let me switch to the uh, right ingredients. Here we go. Now the, uh, the main part where this wood is will be the retrieve you later, which is part of the tube stuff mod. And uh, again, I went over this in the factory, but we're going to lay it down like this so that the input side here with the crossed entrance is on that side. And you can't really see it, but there's a circular round exit for the output over there. Output face of the chest. And the input faces a retriever, like so. And it has already put its stop jammer in the retriever. And always make sure your retriever is set to checkerboard. Then uh, the retriever needs power, but since we're going to hook it to uh, an accelerator on a mag tube, we can just go ahead and put that down, and it's going to get its power through this blue track, blue jacketed. Blue, blue electric wire, and it's going to pass its power in there, and everything's got power now. And all we need is a uh, mag tube, and this section is now completely online and ready to run. We just need to put stuff in the retrievulator, and for that, I'm going to run over to the factory, because not only can I pull stuff out of storage, but you can also pull stuff from the factory. So I'm going to get two furnaces. And I'm going to get more than two wires. Let's get a whole bunch there. And I'm going to get two re-batteries. Sometimes the re-batteries don't stack. I'm not sure what's up with that, but it'll still work. Two machine blocks. Two generators. Two electronic circuits. Two solar panels. Two low voltage transformers and two levers. And they do stack. There we go. So, why did I get two of everything? Well, that's because of the retrievulator. This box marked with the T is the target inventory. And this will be placed into the ender chest and it's going to represent one of the rows. They're going to get sorted all together, but since it takes nine items and the first, each row is nine items. Three of these, as you can see there, fills the entire chest. So as always with these, you put one item in one. So I'm going to want one lever in my connected inventory. And I'm going to request one lever. And it's going to disappear because it's been sent over here to the retriever, activating the retriever and asking for levers, which have already flown over here and there's already one in the chest. That turns off the retriever and pulls it back into the uh, retriever's box. So that one's working. Do the same to all the others. As you can see, they each disappear from the R until they, uh, until the uh, chest has that item in it. I want to do the that one last. It's there. All right. So they're all, as they get uh, put into the chest, they get removed from the retriever, so it's no longer requesting them. And we're all done. There they all are. But I haven't put the, the wires, copper wires in. Now I've got more of these. And as always, if you saw the uh, factory mod, you know that what you want to put over here for anything that gets crafted by the factory, you only want to put one. Because the factory usually only makes one. Or if it makes more than one, some of them may have been requested, so it might not have its full complement. Like the uh, copper cables, make six at a time. But something may have taken one already, and so there's only five in there. So if you ask for six, you get nothing. So well, I'm only going to put one over here, but I'm asking for 13. So it'll keep requesting them, and you'll f see them flying in here. There they go, a whole bunch. Until we get a full 13 in here, and then it'll stop. 12, 13. And there'll be the stop here, there it is. And we're done. Now, if I switch to my ender pouch inventory, which is here, I've got a green ender pouch. If I open that up, I've got all the stuff. So I can be out and about, and if I need to uh, 
get a solar panel and some uh, cable. I can pop the solar panel down, lay out the cable, and you know, start building things. I like to keep all of my red power and IC2 each in their own pouch. So I've got a pouch and with uh, red power parts, like the tubes and the retrievers. And the retrievulator is not from red power, but I put it with them. And then stuff from uh, IC2, like the uh, solar panel and macerators and cables and, and all of that. And uh, the only other aspect for this whole design is this chest over here, which, as you can see, is just a sorting chest attached to the uh, system. And it's needed for the same reason we had the buffer chests here in the factory. These chests uh, hold the miscellaneous elements that are used by the factory because once the retrievulator starts pulsing the retriever, making it request the items one after the other until it has everything it needs, once it has everything it needs and it turns it off, there may still be some items in transit, and these buffer chests hold the remainder. Eventually, these will get used by the factory because they're the closest source for those items right now. So they're not go they don't go to waste. But for this, when there's excess, instead of held holding it in a buffer chest, I put it here into this uh, sorting chest so that it gets sent back into the system. So for instance, if I uh, take out some green wool here, and we watch as it sucks green wool through the system, once it gets all that it needs, the remainder goes into the sorting chest and gets sorted back into the system. And there it is. So nothing is lost, nothing is wasted, and everything goes back to where it's supposed to be. And yet I can be anywhere and have access to all the green wool I need. So and as the, this one, because it's got three on it, I can have this one set to a basic blocks, and this one set to all the various metals, and this one set to various colors of wool, and so you get one chest that contains the doll. And you can split those up or sort them and arrange it any way you like. Have as many of these as you like, as long as you have the... Uh, color space for it. And you need pipes and wire along the top for the top one. The one thing I will suggest is when you're placing these, to make the retrievulator face the correct direction, you may want to place a block down, like a piece of sandstone, before you place your retrievulator, the vertical one. That way you can face it like that. See, you can't do that to when the, where there's a chest there. Even crouching, it'll still open the chest. So don't put the chest there first. Place a temporary block there as you place all of the retrievulators. Oops. Then you can take out that block and put in the next one, next uh, ender chest you're going to use there. In this case, it was the blue, blue, blue. And place down your retrievers. For this one you can crouch and jump and place it. And that. And some accelerators. There. Again, crouch, place. And the uh, mag tubes. Oops. This is the speed build version. And then you need the power, which could go through blocks, but since I didn't put any there, do it like that. And like that. So this one was speed built, and it's completely functional and ready to go. Oh, uh, do remember, set these to checkerboard. It, it'll work the other way sometimes, but not reliably so, because it'll get stuck on items because that mode, this mode cycles between the items and you just want the uh, checkerboard to make it work better. And there it is. That is my Everfull pouch system. Uh, I hope it's useful for you. If you come up with some better ways to uh, improve upon it, please let me know. I enjoy uh, comments of all types, video or just make a regular comment if you like it or use it. 
And uh, that is part three of my series. And when I come up with a part four, I'll let you know. Uh, if you have any requests, uh, a particular problem you'd need to uh, solve, or something that would be uh, very convenient, let me know, and I'll think about it, see if I can come up with something. And this is Non-Sanity, signing out. Take care, keep on digging.